How did you know Donna um, to actually get her the song? Yeah, well, as a songwriter, when you come to Nashville, and I do live in Nashville, funny, the blonde moved here. <laughs> um, you go to Nashville Songwriters Association, which is NSAI, which I did. It was a logical choice. And you join, and then you get an hour with a top writer. And they listen to your stuff, and they suggest things. Well, I went down, and I met with Debbie Cochran, mm -hmm. who I wrote uh, uh, My Kind of Girl for Colin Ray, his number one hit. And she listened to my songs for an hour. Mm -hmm. And I thought she was going to tell me, go back to the drawing board or work harder. And she just said, you know, your songs lean toward the TV and movies. And she had actually had a Grammy for one of the soap operas she wrote for. So she says, I have a number for you. And she pulled out Donna's card and said, give her a call. Did you co-wrote with CJ, or did you originally um, write yourself and then CJ came on later, Bert? Actually, I, I wrote the song, and then um, I bought CJ on later. Uh, Donna introduced me to CJ, and he came in and uh, put the finishing touches on the song. It was really important, and he, he helped me out write it. But I, I had written the song, and then he just looked at it and tweaked it a little Tell bit. Tell me a little bit about how the song came about. Well, I read Twilight, and I saw the movie, and I thought, how about a, a love vampire song? That, that's the first idea I had. I was thinking, how would you write a song about uh, a person that um, loves a vampire and, and not make it like I'm going to, you know, gory or anything. Make it a love song, but it's about between a human and a vampire. So that was how it was inspired. How did you know about our project? Was it that Donna found out about it, and she said, you know, Bert, I think your song might be right for this? Or did she send it to us and then call you and say, you know, they're interested in your song? How did that happen? They well, first I just want to say, I, I called up Donna, mm -hmm. and she said, well, Debbie's got a pretty good ear, and we started a relationship, and I sent her my stuff, and mm -hmm. she said, you know, you're, you got potential, I like what you're doing, so I'm going to take you on. So she took me on, and that's how it started. So um, when it came to this, she saw the Halloween party and she said, I think this might be right for this movie. Let's just try it. She said, well, it, 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 this might be interesting to try this. Mm -hmm. So she said, let's send it. So we did. It was really cool. It's a very, very cool song. I liked it. And I think Donna told you I, I liked it immediately when she sent it. It was one of the first songs you got, wasn't it? Yes, it was one of the first ones. You saw the movie and you've listened to the soundtrack, King Gar soundtrack, Signing Party and everything out in Nashville. Yes. Um, one of the things I'm asking all of the people that we're talking to is, other than your song, which is fabulous and obviously we love it, what's another song in the soundtrack or the movie that you really that you really like, that you're kind of drawn to and you think is a, an excellent piece of work? Well, the whole soundtrack is great, as you know. It's hard to really say. Um, there's a couple. Um, I liked uh, Freaky World. Mm-hmm. I like that jaw. I like the beginning of that. It kind of caught my ear right away. Mm -hmm. um, I like "Get You Back." Yeah, I get the video you. for that is awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I guess uh, "Voodoo" as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's a cool. It's a cool vibe, and it's it's a real and uh, and Don and CJ sing the heck out of this song. Uh, when it comes to You Got Me, what makes that song, I think, Donica Knight sings the crap out of it. Yeah. I mean, she makes that thing come alive. It's amazing what she did with that. I mean, I was so excited when I heard it. I was going to ask you, what else are you doing? So you, we know you're a songwriter. Um, what else do you do besides writing songs? And well, actually, uh, believe it or not, I play for a living. I, uh, Excellent. I've been working on cruise ships for the last 20 years, and uh, I work with Princess Cruises, and I'm a one-man show entertainer. What? And what I do is I, I play the piano, acoustic piano. I stand up when I play. That's my trademark. Mm -hmm. I play songs for people and entertain them. And uh, basically, it's just like uh, coming into my living room and, uh, and enjoying, the t enjoying the party. That's what it is. That's awesome. That's awesome. You got me possessed by your spirit. I don't know if it's heaven or hell. I just know that somewhere between salvation and temptation, you got me. Is there a style that you play on the ships 
a style of music or are you doing cover songs or your own original stuff? I, I do my original stuff. I have done and I've sold my CDs on its ship. I've, I've had sorts of CDs, original CDs, and I've sold them gone well. But for the most part, it's cover. I throw my originals in, but uh, everything from uh, Gershwin to Zeppelin. Wow. <laughs> That's, That's quite a range. Well, thank you, Bert, very much for being a part of the project, first of all, but also well, coming out, you know, and, uh, doing an interview with you. Absolutely. Well, I was excited because it, it's exciting to me to think that you got me kind of open the door for it all to happen with Donna because at that point we were just kind of fishing and we saw this. And mm -hmm. it's exciting to know that song was, was a, a key song for you. It's, it yeah. makes me feel yeah. good. That's, awesome. that's my latest movie song. Beautiful. Well, tell us about that because you do have a movie coming out. Actually, I do. It's it's really it's really cool. I've been in Nashville. I, I'm in Nashville now because right. I was in Florida, but there wasn't a big music scene down in with Florida down there. <laughs> I went down on the roll. There was no producers or publishers, so I went to where the music is, and that was Nashville. And I ended up getting a publishing deal with a lady who does movies and television. Okay. So the last two years, I've been working with her, and we came out with a song called "You Got Me." And we saw a movie called Halloween Party, and we pitched it to it, and they took it. And it's coming out next Halloween, and uh, that song will be in it.